currently, we don't know how many security companies we have. How many people altogether? Those people, all of them are armed. If one day a coup taking place, they can mobilize themselves. Maybe there are 30,000. And if you count our defense and the police together, they are maybe just maybe less than 20,000. Regional and local government, Housing and Rural Development Minister Charles Namolo called for the need to regulate weapons used by such companies, as some are said to be making use of AK-47 machine guns suitable only for war. Why should they have AK? AK mostly is for the battlefield. They should carry small arms, not the AKs. Those to control only to guard and so forth. Why AKs and the submachine guns there? Why? I think we need to, 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 to control this. If we are not careful, one day the police will be having running battles with these security forces because they are well armed like them, and sometimes over armed than the, our police forces. Swapo MP Kadenambu Kadenambu raised the issue of phone bugging that is said to have become very common in recent years. These people who listen to other people's phone, it's illegal. And we are not in a tyrannic, totalitarian regime where a democracy, who has passed the laws. And these things of tapping and bugging people's phone is primitive. It, it, it is done in failing states, backward regimes, and we are not one. 